On this video we are working with a Natalie dress again but this time it's got bias binding for the armholes and if you're cutting out your pattern you want to cut out the bodice where the dashed line is and then we work exactly the same way as usual. We take the right side facing down so right sides on the inside of the bodice but we are stitching across the top instead of the armhole first. So once I've stitched across the top I can under stitch my lining and that means I'm moving my seam allowance towards the lining so that gives me a really lovely edge. You could also if you'd like to of course put some binding on the top edge. Now I want to close my side seams so flip the backs over onto the front and pin both sides then I'm going to do the same with the lining I'm going to pin those and I'm also going to sew them all with a one centimeter seam allowance now I've done this I'm going to put a stay stitch around the armhole and another holding stitch along the bottom and next I'm going to put my bias binding on I'm going to pin the bias binding to the wrong side first with a little bit of tension starting from the underarm seam and up like this and then I'm going to stitch it in exactly where the fabric fold is so all the way along And now I can cut my seam allowance back a little bit so that I can roll the bias binding over so it sits really neatly and I do exactly that I roll it over and I pin it all the way to the top and the key is to just about cover that stitching line that you've now got and at the top you want to fold in the ends so that they're not rough and put a pin there as well and then we can top stitch this and when you start top stitching across the top here on the sewing machine it usually just eats the fabric so if you put a bit of tissue paper underneath it and you sew that for the beginning then it won't do that and it transports beautifully so sew the bias binding shut in the area of the tie and as you come into the actual armhole make sure that it covers the stitching line you don't want that to show and that will also give you the perfect width Now we've done this, we can remove our paper, just rip it off. Actually, you only need two layers. I don't know, I went a bit overboard, so I don't know how many layers, but two or even one layer is usually enough. And you can tie them, and that's basically it. And the rest of the dress is then made like the standard version, um, which is also in the red polka dot. So you can now click on the link and go to that to see how the skirt is made, the fastening, etc. And uh, also you can visit the project page to see what else you could do with this particular design. Thank you very much for watching.